Tribute you could see from the sky. Balloons released for two teens killed after a car jumped the curb. And as we learn more details about the driver who never should have been behind the wheel. Good evening, everyone. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco is live in Union City where that emotional vigil for the victims was held tonight. Tracy? Maurice and Christine, even at this hour, people are still gathering at the memorial, which is just steps away from the devastating crash site. As we are learning tonight, that driver who lost control never should have been driving in the first place. The mother of 16-year-old Noel Herrera overcome with grief, taken away on a stretcher from the site where her son died. And the mother of 17-year-old Brian Rodriguez inconsolable as she arrived at this afternoon's vigil. The two best friends killed and a third teen critically injured when a car jumped the curb here on John F. Kennedy Boulevard around 9 o'clock on Saturday night. A scene Victor Sanchez says will haunt him forever. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I'm traumatized right now. I can see, when I close my eye, I can see these two kids dead on the ground. Debris from the deadly accident still scattered along the sidewalk, next to where hundreds gathered for this afternoon's vigil. White balloons with messages to the victims let go into the sky, an emotional tribute to the lives lost. It's devastating. It's breaking. Everybody's heart is broken. Everyone is so depressed. We have counselors helping us, and it's just horrible. The driver, Eric Patterson, made his first court appearance today, charged for the the two deaths, along with speeding, reckless driving, and driving with a suspended license. Nobody should take it upon themselves to drive our roads carelessly and recklessly, putting others at danger. Police are still investigating, but say the 23 year old may have been driving at more than 70 miles an hour in a 25 mile an hour zone. An outrage to those who knew the young victims. How dare you? You took the lives of two innocent children and a third that you injured in the hospital. How dare you? Toxicology results for Eric Patterson. The driver have not come back yet, so we don't know if he was under the influence of anything. He's currently being held on $1 million bail. We're live tonight from Union City, New Jersey. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tracy.